Hi guys, so this morning I had somebody ask me what they can do this year to support the actually autistic community and autistic people for Autism Awareness Week, Month, Day. Um, adding in there that most autistic people, or a lot of autistic people that I know and speak with, uh, yes, some of us can speak with our mouths, some of us can't, that's cool too, some really awesome people can type, and that doesn't make them any less valid. So when I say speak, that is speaking however you need to speak. and. All communication methods are completely acceptable. You know, I want to put that out there because unfortunately sometimes um, we get accusations from certain people that autistic advocates who speak using their mouths are speaking over uh, autistics who do not speak with their mouths. And that's really frustrating. Um, I personally love to amplify all autistic voices uh, regardless of how they choose to communicate or how they are able to communicate or how they communicate. Uh, I think all communica communication, uh, my communication is failing right now, uh, methods are equally valid. So that brings me to what can you do if you are wanting to help support the autistic community and autistic people this week, this month, April, April 2nd, all of that. And so, number one, don't light up blue and please do not donate to Autism Speaks. That's the biggest thing you can do to support us, or a big thing you can do to support the autistic community. Um, another thing that you can do is help amplify the voices of autistic people. Uh, that is the big problem that a lot of autistic people have with the Autism Speaks um, campaigns is they tend to typically be voices of parents of autistic children and they speak more about autism but not from the autistic perspective. Uh, so this month or every April really because this is a reoccurring yearly thing, um, if you want to help and you are want to be an ally to the autistic community, please you know share and amplify the voices of autistic people who are talking about autism because it's about time we got to tell our own stories so that's a big way you can help um, if you see someone who is lighting up blue and sharing autism speaks uh, stuff this month this week today you can maybe politely and kindly comment or educate or let them know that really autistic people kind of don't see this organization favorably, favor, favorably, words are hard, um, maybe share some links because there are a lot of good informational links out there on why autistic people generally dislike Autism Speaks, um, and just kind of help us spread the truth and get, you know, the word out there and get a real message out there and just help us get autistic voices heard. Uh, because autistic people are speaking if anyone is listening and we need your help to get our voices to everyone else so that you know maybe someday when it's autism awareness and what we're really looking for is acceptance not awareness um, month and autism awareness acceptance week comes around you know I dream that one day it'll actually be autistic people talking and spreading awareness uh, because there's enough of people talking about us without us so yeah I mean that's that's it in a nutshell that's how you can help support autistic people uh, this April and then also realize that some autistic people may just completely go on internet hiatus this month because there's just a lot of ugly stuff on the internet and it's all, it's not all, but we're trying to change it. Uh, but until it changes, uh, Autism Awareness Month is kind of a big cluster F. So 
help us change that. And that's how you can help autistic people in April. Alrighty guys, I've got to get back to work. I will talk to you later. Bye.